guys welcome back to my channel this is like to say with nani thank you guys for all the love you show me on this channel if this is, if this is your first time of visiting my channel you're welcome thank you and to all my existing subscribers you guys rock thank you so much please if you're new try to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload new videos today i'll be teaching us how to make a swimsuit yes you heard me right a swimsuit so um it is not just the Oyibo people that know how to make swimsuits you can actually make it and rock it to the beach to the swimming pool anywhere all right so for this project you just need your basic bodice pattern and you have to make sure that the pattern you're using is actually longer than your waistline okay so um i have this basic bodice pattern for the front and for the back okay so I'm just going to go over what I've done here. The neck width is four inches and the neck depth for the front is three and a half inches. Now for your swimsuit, you want to make use of a stretchy material because it doesn't have zipper at the back. There's no room for zipper allowance and it has to be stretchy so that you can comfortably wear it. So you, you'll be using a stretch material like spandex, coli, you know, something uh, very stretchy. Please don't use scuba. Scuba is really thick and wouldn't be comfortable on the body. So lycra, spandex, poly would work well. Okay, so um, the neck width and the neck depth depends on the individual, depends on what you want. Okay, so you could make your front neckline lower, higher, whatever you want. For the back, the neck um, depth is usually very deep just because this doesn't have a zipper allowance so that you can fit into your swimsuit very comfortable and i just made uh, the neck depth to be seven inches okay so but what you can do is to measure this is your chest line so what you can do is to measure the distance from the chest line to your waistline i have nine inches half of that is seven and a half and that is around here so you can decide to make uh, the neck depth as low as that just so that you can be comfortable enough i'm just doing this for um, the sake of this tutorial okay so because we usually want a show back okay for our swimsuits you can just you know make the neckline this deep okay so this this whatever you want is fine so let's just get right to the into the tutorial so first, I'll be working on the front pattern. You need your armhole, just your basic bodies like I have explained. Okay, so the next thing to do is to move over to this point. You need to mark your hip depth. Okay, so depending on what you like to work with, the, the hip depth varies from 7 to 9 inches depending on individuals, how tall the person is. So for this project, I'll be using 8 inches. You could use 9, you could use 10. So I'm using 8 inches, okay? So I'll be using this uh, film pack as my ruler. I can't find my pattern makers, like, I don't know. Okay, so this is the hip line, okay? So I want to extend it so that I can label that. So this is the hip, okay? Now, what you want to do is... On the hip line, you mark, you go in by one inch, okay, so this is one inch. Then, from the waistline, okay, you come down by two inches, like this, by two inches, then you're going to be connecting it to this one inch um, that we came in by. On the hip line so on the curve like this okay so if you have your pattern maker your pattern master that would really help okay so you just make a curve to the hip depth okay so and that is just it is so easy so easy so what you need to do is just to add your half inch seam allowance around your pattern okay just follow the curve add 
the hacking seam. Remember, this is just the basic bodies. There was no seam allowance added on the basic bodies. Now, because we are using um, spandex or poly, now poly stretches, so you may not even need to add seam allowance. Okay, but the reason I'm adding this um, half inch round is not really for sewing, it's for overlocking, for weaving. Okay, so that, that's there because they're going to weave to have a neat uh, to have neat edges okay so even on the neckline because you might decide to turn it okay your armhole now okay so for um your swimsuit you can decide to have the neck the shoulder width smaller so you can just make it two inches like this then connect it back to the armhole just so that you have it shorter so you just Walk around it, okay. So, whatever you want, just make sure you add the allowance for it, okay. I'm making too much markings, all right. So, we just added our seam allowances and I'll cut it out. So this is the swim seat and it's so easy guys. Okay, so you can see the curve, the pants curve, you know, like the swim seat we would have. Alright, so let's move over to the back. Okay, so for the back we repeat the same process. We used 8 inches for the hip. Depth. So this is eight inches. This is eight inches, and we came in here on the hip depth by one inch. So this is one inch, and we came down from the waist by two inches. Okay. So just connect to these two inches, just like we did for the front. Now for the back, you're not going to curve in, okay? Because the back is um, bigger because of the buttocks at the back. So you want to cover your bum. So instead of, you know, coming in like this for the back, we will just connect from this two inches mark to this one inch mark okay okay like this and that is all you just add your your half inch seam allowance Okay guys, so this is not to half inch, but just bear with me. I'm not making use of my pattern maker, my pattern master. Why am I saying pattern maker? Okay, so remember what we did for the shoulder width. We just want two inches for the shoulder. We don't want it extending to the armhole. Okay, so you just cut that out. Okay. So we'll cut leaving at least half inch for joining.
So the neckline is actually deeper for the back. Then this is the front. Okay. All right. So this is the front. Okay. So what you do is to. So what you do is to join this, replace them together, front and back, okay, join, place them together, join the crotch, the side, the two sides, the shoulder, and overlock it, then turn it to, to the right side. And that will be that for your swimsuit. So it's pretty easy. Try it and share with us, okay? So um, my we have a sewing group and a page on Facebook. So on Facebook, our sewing group is so with non-list towels and apparels. I'll try to post the link in the description box below. And the page is non-list towels and apparels. While on YouTube, we are learning to sew with non you don't you know that already. Okay, so if you've practiced any of the any of the styles I've taught in my tutorials, you can actually send us pictures of what you're working on on our, on our Facebook group, and you can send your questions, any style you want us to illustrate, and we'll always um, respond to that. So in the comment section, I'm always there to respond to your comments, your questions, your concerns. I'll be there to you know respond to you immediately i see them so till i come away next time my name is nonny remain blessed bye